Hi everyone, I am so happy uh, to be filming this video. As you can tell, it's another vlog. I'm in a vloggish mood, um, and this is a vlog that I've been wanting to do like forever, pretty much since the year started. I have been holding it off for a couple reasons, but I'm doing it now. It's like a Christmas present to myself. Christmas is in like five-ish days. You can probably tell from the thumbnail or the title or whatever, I'm gonna be reading orc romances. I don't know what it is about orc romances that I absolutely adore. I maybe I'll figure it out in this vlog but i've been wanting to read like a ton of them and i do have a few of them saved up i recently got like the 99 cent deal for kindle unlimited so i'm gonna also have kindle unlimited available i'm probably gonna mostly read these on my kindle or my phone i don't physically own any of these unfortunately but yes i don't know how many i'll read as much as i want to until i get bored until i want to try something else that's what this vlog is gonna be romances featuring orcs it's pretty much it this is this one is for me this vlog is for me another one will be for y'all um this is not timed or anything i really don't have like a big prologue getting into this video so yes the first book that i want to read is the orc and her bride by lila gwynn um this is a sapphic um orc romance which i haven't found too many um so i'm picking up this one first i hope it's amazing and wonderful i've been wanting to read more like sapphic monster romances um i'm gonna put like orcs under the monster category like for now until they become like bigger but for now i classify orcs under monster romances i noticed that in a lot of like monster-ish romances the monster is never like the woman if it's like a heterosexual relationship the monster is always like the man which that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but i wanted more i want i want monster women I believe this is a like arranged marriage between an orc princess who's like very like follow the rules does everything she's asked respectful princess and then um she has an arranged marriage with an elf princess who's like the exact opposite kind of rakish kind of like devil may care never lifted a finger once in her life type vibes that sounds amazing it sounds like annoyances to lovers that kind of thing i'm very excited so we're just gonna get into it i'm just gonna start reading these books um and letting you know what i think of them but this this book is first um this was like number one on my priority so hi so i did finish um the orc and her bride by lila gwynn and i really liked it um well it was mostly cute um which i'm fine with cute uh, I personally want a little bit more angst. I like angst in romance. I like a little bit more conflict. The main conflict of this one was our main character. Um, I forgot her name is like Elwith or something. She's an elf. She's kind of a brat. Um, there was a huge trigger warning about her being a brat. Um, and it's like really like she's pretty annoying, but it's okay. I had the trigger warning going into it. It's a literal trigger warning. This main character is super annoying. So yeah. Um, she's just doing everything she can to stop this marriage um and our orc main character her name is ruga so sweet the sweetest person ever she's like yes i would uh, yeah i'll marry her i don't mind it's for the good of the country whatever amazing character absolutely love her there is a little bit of spice uh in the book at some point but it does leave mostly sweet uh more so cozy i guess but there's some things that uh might be slightly triggering but the author does include trigger warnings at the beginning of the book if there's something that um might bother you a shady father for one and i think some of the characters do get a little drunk at some times um it was okay i'm gonna give it like three stars for my next book i am going to read i believe it's called the duchess and the orc by Finley Fenn. Finley Fenn's the author that really got me into orc romances. This is the fourth book in her orc sworn series, I think is what it's called. Um, and this one we follow a woman named Maria who's married to a very terrible man, a very shitty guy, and she runs away, goes to Orc Mountain, and is like, hey, I need a place. I will have your sons. They're very fun. I, her first book in this series was amazing i think about it a lot actually so yeah that's what i'm gonna read next i actually already started it uh last night but i had shitty lighting at the time so yeah that's what we'll be reading first things first it's a few days after christmas already i started the vlog before um but i didn't read too much slash film or whatever because i wanted to mostly spend time with family uh christmas eve and christmas but since that has passed and we're now just like awaiting new year's i'm of course 
time to update the vlog i did finish the duchess and the orc by finley fenn and i was really surprised about this one this entire series i hope i mentioned it before but if i didn't this entire series is a very um sexually explicit series about young women well not always young but women who find themselves with an orc and they hook up happily ever after right the first book i mentioned before was what really got me into liking orcs as like a concept i guess in like fantasy romance but i did take a break after the third one because i felt like most of the conflict was like the same i don't know if i can be with an orc he's so different and i'm human like it's like not like normal or whatever and that is fine but it never really went farther um into like that conflict it was, it was pretty surface level and i felt um i got bored you know it got a little stale so i took a break from them eventually knowing i would come back um but this fourth book while still does touch on that conflict of i'm human and he's an orc and we're just so different um uh, which not really they have like similar anatomies to males and they're just like bigger um and they have green skin the conflict of this one i felt was a little more authentic and more real and more realized because they the author really got into like the cultural differences between humans and orcs and we see our main character maria really giving and giving up her boundaries where she feels like that she can and also setting her boundaries like i'm not doing this i don't like this our orc love interest simon he's like also realizing what he can give up in terms of like orc culture i guess and what he wants to keep i guess um so it's like give and take which is like pretty natural in relationships i thought it was pretty good i would say this is probably my favorite one since the first book i don't remember if i like two or three more but for sure my favorite is the first book and then the fourth the one i just finished four out of five stars i really enjoyed it that being said um i did already start on the third book of this vlog i think it's called baking cupcakes for my orc neighbor something like that i'll put the photo of the cover right here by honey phillips honey phillips is like more so known for her like sci-fi alien human women crash landing on a different planet type romances but this takes place in kind of like an urban fantasy world where like i guess paranormal supernatural creatures exist and our main character i forgot her name moves to a town that's predominantly like a fantastical creature um to start a coffee shop i want to say that's as far as i've gone her business shop neighbor um owns a bakery and he's kind of grouchy so i guess it's gonna be like a grouchy sunshine enemies to lovers annoyances to lovers type romance it's pretty lighthearted so far um it's only like a hundred and something pages and it's it's very much like lust at first sight um i don't know if it's like love but definitely lusty at first sight like he's like oh my god i hate her but she's so beautiful um type of thing that's what's on the agenda um so i'm like halfway through this book and i know i'm not gonna like it <laughs> i'm already kind of annoyed if it wasn't so short like a hundred and something pages i probably dnf it um my kindle says i only have like 40 minutes left of reading so i'm just gonna power through it is a very lighthearted read it is like an enemies or annoyances to lovers but there really wasn't much time for the annoyances part to like simmer a little bit before we like jumped into like the tension and i don't know it's because i'm reading so many other orc stuff that i'm comparing this book to my earlier reads but at least in the first book which was annoyances to lovers our characters we got to know our characters while they were getting to know each other in this book i know nothing about these characters other than like the generic like bio info like this person has a grandma or whatever i don't know anything about these people before they're already like trying to like get into each other's pants and it's that thing they're like i can't i can't be with them and it's like unless like you guys are like sworn enemies from different kingdoms or some you're literally neighbors like what do you mean you can't like them you got off on the wrong foot it happens like all the time so it's like a forced conflict i know nothing about these characters like he the orc love interest he meets her and he's like oh my god 
she's so beautiful i can't think about anything other than putting her like in my bed and like doing whatever like it's like straight to i want to you know bone <laughs> so uh it's like not the vibe it's and you know maybe i'm like judging it too harshly but i feel like i've read other novellas and other short works where you got to like really like the characters at least a little bit or just like in even like a regular novel where you quickly fall in love with the character from the get-go i feel like that's possible i don't know why i can't you can't do that with any one of the two so yeah i don't think i'm gonna like this but i'm just gonna finish it i guess and then move on so i finished cupcakes for my orc enemy by honey phillips and i well i still don't like it that much it's pretty like i would say the mid at best there was like a little more context given as for like the conflict our main male character he his name is grandar i think and he had his heart broken like three years prior while he was at culinary school um and i get like people get like hung up over like an ex um and they they, they don't move on especially it was like very serious whatever but i don't know i still don't like really get conflict of like i can't be with them like i can't be with her for almost little reason um the tone of this entire book has been very like light and fluffy and it kind of takes place in an almost like gilmore girls type setting very like tight-knit community of like um like mom and pop shops that kind of thing which i do like that setting so that had one thing going for it that i really liked and everything's like really fluffy and i feel like this book needed more sweet sweet um to kind of balance out like grandar versus seeing our female main character her name is elara um and being like oh I, I can't stop picturing like her blah 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 on my blah 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 um and it's like whoa like you're a sex freak i guess because that's like all you ever think about when you're like with her um not enough like oh she's really kind and she's sweet and um despite the fact that i'm kind of like an a-hole like she's still like you know whatever um but no it's just like it's like sex on the brain when he sees her 24 7. it's like i don't know i feel like it was supposed to be more sweet than uh the content that it had so i don't know two stars i guess um it is officially the last day of the year um we'll see how much i can finish i don't want to continue this vlog into the new year i just feel like that would be not great so i will pick up my next read to give you and give you like an update because I don't know what I'm gonna read next. So. so I'm back with an update not too long after my last one. Um, and I did choose my next read of the vlog, and it's um Agnar's Teacher by Jennifer Wood. This is like an alien orc abducted from Earth, landed on like a planet full of orcs romance. Kind of obviously the more popular book in this like subgenre would be um ice planet barbarians and there's obviously similarities there but this genre has kind of exploded that i hate being like oh it's just like ice planet barbarians um i will say that something that i really appreciate about ice planet barbarians that i don't get too much in other books within this like very niche subgenre is that like i think the author of ice planet barbarians does a very good job of like interweaving um elements of like the sci-fi genre seamlessly or at least i i think seamlessly for a predominantly romance audience you may not like sci-fi as your favorite genre um but i think the author does a good job in that series to like throw in some sci-fi stuff to help move the story along when our character first wakes up on this new planet with these orc alien type things she just starts talking to them which is fine it takes her a while for her to realize that she's speaking she thinks she's speaking english, english to these alien orcs and then she's like oh wait how do we communicate like it's just kind of like a like a oh yeah let me just quickly throw in like a sentence or two to explain why a human female is talking to this orc alien in like the same language little things like that and there is a, a again like a throwaway kind of line as to like how that's happening in this particular book it's it's very distracting the things that would come up if you were to be abducted from earth and landed on a different planet how quickly she, our main character kind of like like 
passes through those uh, questions, the those things. And I feel like there should be a little more dwelling on that. Again, it doesn't have to be the whole book because this is a romance, but I know that other authors can handle these questions, uh, the logistics of it all better. I personally don't like that. But if you're only here for the romance and you can give a shit about like plot holes and things like that in regards to like sci-fi things that have to be addressed <laughs> in like a going to a new planet type situation then you won't care um, but i care so yeah that's the first thing that's kind of come up to my mind our main character is a teacher with anxiety and she lands in this planet she wakes up and she meets this guy and that's as far as i've gone so that's like about the first 30 minutes of reading that i've gotten so far so i will update when i have something to say hi everyone i think it's about time to wrap up this vlog um it's already the beginning of the year i typically would read five books in a vlog like minimum but i read four and that's okay let me give you my thoughts on the last book i read um and then we're ready to go so the last book that you saw me um touch on was angar's teacher by jennifer wood i ended up dnfing this it wasn't bad but at some point about like 33 percent in which is like a good chunk of the book i realized i got exactly what i wanted from it um already at that point the story quickly literally within like the first couple pages our main character was like all like smushing this orc alien that she meets on this planet um before like anything else before meeting you know the elders before really getting situated finding her own home or anything like that she is smacking on this dude and they don't really have like a ton of conflict between each other that i could see or you know coming up i wouldn't say that they're together early on into the book but they are kind of going in that direction already so i was like you know what she's on an alien planet she met a guy she hooked up it's light it's fluffy it's whatever i got that i think my earlier complaints about this book if i mentioned them um still hold true you know i get that people read these romances for like the romance of it all but, but i will say that like it's hard to kind of wrap my head around like for example in this plot she goes to a different planet and she's really well adjusted for someone who and i could be wrong and people react differently but our main character does have an anxiety disorder that she does take medication for and that's a big part of the story that she doesn't have her medication so she has to go to another clan or something to trade for that medication or like a substitute because she doesn't have like pills on this planet um but she's very like quick to be okay with like being on this planet and like hooking up with this alien dude and i'm not saying that people with anxiety wouldn't but i felt like i needed time to adjust to her character i wanted her to adjust a little bit more to being on a new planet and i would also just like more attention to detail if you're writing a science fiction romance i know maybe most readers who pick this up just want the romance but it adds a little something when you are able to um add in those extras like the world building other side characters things like that um especially because i have like questions in my head about how certain stuff works and maybe it does get answered later later on but i would much rather some of those questions get answered earlier than later on in the book because then the entire time i'm like well what about this how does this work how does that work so yes i dnf'd it not bad if you still want to read something like this uh like a different substitute or a different flavor of like ice planet barbarians or anything of that subgenre you can pick this up i don't rate dnfs but that is like my opinion on it but other than that one i did read three other orc romances um i read the orc and her bride uh, which is a sapphic orc story that i've never read a sapphic orc story the duchess and the orc by finley fenn i absolutely love this one one of my favorite romances of the year don't read a lot of romance but definitely one of my favorite uh romances for sure i absolutely loved the conflict in this one and then cupcakes for my orc enemy which i didn't love actually really did not like i am very happy that i did get my orc romance fix it's something that i've been wanting for quite some time and i ended the year with it and even if i disliked some of these books which i would say i dislike maybe half of them i'm happy that i still did this and this is what i 
you know what i was reading during christmas um didn't really read that much on new year's and i'm wrapping this up now so feel free to talk to me down below in the comments about anything i've talked about i like to hear anything you have to say um about work romances or just anything in general i will also link my social medias down below as well as some far more important links feel free to like dislike comment or subscribe or do neither talk with me and uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one